Hello, thank you for joining me. I've just arrived here on a class 455 at Thames Ditton. It wasn't so long ago I was here before in the winter when I made an episode of Branch Line Bristol on the Hampton Court branch. Well today, as you can see, I've got off here and you, if you saw that Branch Line Bristol episode, we walked past a miniature railway and that's where we're going today. We're going to the Thames Ditton Miniature Railway. So here we are, we're walking down this road again, which we did when we did the Branch Line Britain episode because we were looking at the whole junction complex. So if you want to see that, watch the Branch Line Britain episode. But as I walked along, I pointed out that here, there's a, a disused turntable of what appears at first glance to be a disused miniature railway. In actual fact, it's a disused branch of a functioning miniature railway, which is run by the Malden and District Society of Model Engineers. So it's the Thames Little Miniature Railway, or should I say Miniature Railways, because they've got a ground level and racetrack. And of course we're going to ride both of them. So we run along here, it looks like this was their station. I understand the club's been around since 1936. They originally had um, another Miniature Railway at another park. The name slipped my mind, but it's on screen now over in New Malden. And then I understand they've been here since 1950. So that disused branch from Miniature Railway, it runs along there past the cars, you, we're going to hear trains all afternoon on the main line. You can just see them through the trees. You can see the girders of the bridge on the Hampton Court branch. And we get to here, there's a Southern Region style upper quadrant 74 signal, a level crossing. So I've got to go across the level crossing and I've got to check in and get my tickets. So, hello. So we're in. The, um, the man saw us making a video for YouTube and he just wanted to stop and say hello. So that's why I stopped. But anyway, we're here now. I understand the clubhouse is off over there. There's a bit of track coming out that door crossing there. So I'm going to go get a ticket and let's go and have a ride.
That was a very enjoyable ride on the train. I like the name Willowbank because my granddad, the house he grew up in over in Ickenham, was called Willowbank. I noticed when I was on the train, well, there's a bit of track that goes off here, but it ends there. It looks like it must have gone along over past the racetrack, along by where that class 47's go. This is where we're going to go next. We're going to go and have a ride on the racetrack. It looks like it went along there and then rejoined the railway over by the tunnel. That is my theory. Oh, what's this coming along? Um, we have... I'm just going to let you see this. We've got uh, double uh, arrival here. I don't think it matters what the size of the train is, you cannot beat a parallel run. I always enjoy a parallel run, whether it's on a miniature, standard gauge, even more than railway. So, this is the racetrack railway, so this is where our next ride is going to be. Over there, Rive High Level Station. Now, from this bridge, we get quite a good view of... Um, well, you've got the two lines down there on the lower level with all the working signals. Here is the racetrack, so it's actually a folded in half figure of eight. So I think we'll go on it and we go under a bridge and then we'll work our way, go over ourselves and back. So, say, folded in half, figure of eight. What I'll do, is there a train coming? There's no extra to coming along. We might do some line siding here later on. And then, when we get down in a minute, I'll show you the middle of the site. It's also good because you've got the trains passing on the main line. Let's just watch this OH to us. And then we'll... Um, I'm just going to, there's a lot of people coming the other way, on the other side of the camera. And then what we're going to do, we will go down here. You can see there's a bit of a queue, so I'm going to have to queue up for a while. Um, I think I'll do a bit of line siding first, and maybe the queue will go down. Um, but in the middle of the whole site, you've got this really nice green space where you can literally watch the trains go by on all sorts of different railways. Because you've got, as I say, the racetrack, um, the ground level track and behind us over there you've got the southwestern main line complete with the whole junction for the, the Hampton Court branch so it's really quite a nice place just to spend a bit of time watching trains I'm going to probably go and have a ride on the racetrack though now
a bit nasty where they've just put water in the battery locker. <laughs> There's a
So I think the trains have pretty much stopped running now. Um, there's just one more empty stop movement going back to the sheds over there. I've had a great afternoon here. It's been really good fun riding the trains, watching the trains, seeing various different trains. And I always find that whenever you go to model engineering societies, you never quite know what you're going to see. So, you know, I've been riding behind like a locomotive, steam locomotive from Sierra Leone, and we've never seen class 47s. We've seen some quite interesting variety of locomotives. So, it's been a great afternoon, and it's been it was, the club members are very friendly. They let me have a look in the signal box and got some shots of trains passing there. So, um, it's been a very, very pleasant afternoon. So, do do come to the Thames Ditton Miniature Railway. It's down here in South West London, easy to get to by train, or even if you're just passing on your train on the way to Waterloo. Have a look out the window and you may well spot, you'll catch a glimpse of the Thames Ditton Miniature Railway. The train's going past all the time. So, um, from the Thames Ditton Miniature Railway, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment.